Hi folks, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the for next loop to store QEDs. So we're going to first uh, connect to a database, uh, we're going to use an access database. What I'll do is I'll just select um, a couple of tables. So we'll just, uh, we won't select all the fields, we'll just say choose add. So we just call this account. We call this uh, account type. So we're just naming the tables, um, and we call this inventory. So what we can do is we could, for each of them, say use the store function to store as a QVD so we could just say um, store account into account dot QVD and then do the same for the other two tables what that will do is we just copy this copy inventory so store inventory into inventory.qvd so if we uh, click reload control and R to reload and then go into our folder you can see now that we have a QVD for each one of those but if you didn't want to use the store function after each um, after each table, table you could do a for next uh, loop. Um, I'm going to show you that now. So we can get rid of uh, each of these store functions. At the end of all our tables, we can say for i equals one to number of tables. So you're going to uh, create a variable, so let v table equals table name, which again is it. So table name is i, so we're going to put in the variable for i. Minus 1. And then I'm going to add another variable, so let v names equals Put this in single quotes, and it's v table dot qvd. I'm going to say store v table into v names. gonna loop so next i so basically for each table the account the account type and inventory we're creating a variable for the number of tables and then we're going we're calling those variables um, the table name and then names equals the table name dot qvd and then we're going to say store table into names yeah and define it as a qvd and then go each go through each one of those tables so if we press control and or So I had a bracket in the wrong place, so if I press Ctrl and R, it's now reloaded the uh, tables, and if we go back into the folder, you can see now we've got the three, rather than using the three separate store functions, we used uh, a 
the for next loop to go through each one of the tables. And again, if we look, you can see what it's doing in the uh, the log file. As you can see, for i equals number of tables, table name one minus one account dot qvd account into account dot qvd account type into account type and so on. So that's just a, a quick way of uh, rather than using the store function three times, you can use a for next loop to loop through the tables uh, within your script. That's pretty much it. I hope that helps, and I'll see you next video. Cheers.